Hey everybody, this is uh, Mr. MathLog. Uh, this lesson is same perimeter with different areas, okay? So here we go, let's get started. So here's our, our common core strand and our, our question here is how can we use area to compare rectangles that have the same perimeter, okay? And we'll find out that they're different, okay? So Troy's dad uh, has 12 feet of boards uh, to uh, put around the rectangular sandbox. So how how should he make each side so that the area of the sandbox has the largest possible area? All right, so here they want us to draw some rectangles. Okay, so we're going to draw rectangles um, uh, that have a perimeter of 12, and then we're going to find the area and find out which one has the greatest area. So a perimeter of 12, we've got to do rectangles. So let's see. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, and then I have to go 13, 14, 15, 16. So we can't do the whole rectangle right here. We've got to do uh, 12. How about if we do this? Let's go. Uh, okay, so here's 5 right here, and then 5 right here is 10. Okay, I hope you guys with me, and then plus one more, plus one more. That would give us a perimeter of 12. So let's, here's one rectangle right there, a 1 by 5, a 1 foot by 5 foot. That'd be kind of a boring sandbox, don't you think? A real skinny sandbox. So let's try another one here, you guys. Let's do, um, let's try two, okay? So one, two, and then if we went over five, that would be two plus five is seven, plus two more is nine, plus five more hmm, is 14. That's too big. So how about if we do two by four? So let's see, let's if we go down, um, uh, two by, there's two, three, four, five, six, okay, four more, and then seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That would work, okay, so let's do a little uh, two foot by four foot, okay, that would give us a perimeter of twelve. Okay, we'll find the area next, you guys, that we want to know what's the greatest, er the greatest area right here, so five times one is five here. 4 times 2 is 8, okay? Let's try something else. Let's try something by 3. 1, 2, 3. Let's go 4, 5, 6. Let's try one more. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, that, that's not going to work. Let's try 3 by 3, okay? 3 by 3 will work. So here's 3 plus 3 is um, 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 3 is 12, okay? So all of these rectangles have perimeter of 12. Now you can draw other rectangles, they just won't give us a perimeter of 12, because that's all Troy has is uh, 12 feet of board. So, so we're going to do a perimeter of 12 somehow and find the greatest area, okay? So the area is base times height, base times height, base times height. Let's go ahead and calculate all that stuff right there. Okay, so so the perimeter of sandbox one, okay, so it's going to be, it's going to be um, 5 plus 1 plus 5 plus 1, okay, so which gives us 12 right there, 1 plus 5, okay, plus 1 plus 5, okay, and, the, and uh, let's do uh, the perimeter of this guy right here, so this would be 2 plus 4 plus, um, I'm sorry, so this is 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4, so 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4, is going to get us um, uh, 6 plus 6 is 12, okay? And then uh, here, so we have perimeter 12, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, that's going to also give us 12 right there. All right, so the area, you guys, is going to be base times height, 5 times 1, 4 times 2, 3 times 3. So 5 times 1 is, is going to give us 5, 5 square feet. Okay, 4 times 2 is going to give us uh, 8 square feet. And finally, 3 times 3 is, is 9 square feet. Okay, so let's answer the question here. So <clears throat> the area of sandbox blank has the greatest area. Which one has the greatest area? Here's 5, here's 8, here's 9. So the 3 by 3 has the greatest area. So sandbox 3, a coincidence that it's a 3 by 3 and it's sandbox 3. But sandbox 3 has the greatest area. So... Troy, if he wants the greatest area with the, the, the boards he's going to make, is going to be three feet by three feet, okay? So how are the sandboxes the same? How are they different? Okay, so here's our sandboxes right there. They all have the same perimeter of 12 feet, 
but it was the square that created the greatest area, the 3 by 3 square. Okay, so that'll happen always. Secret, secret. That'll always happen. So draw rectangles with the same perimeter and the same areas. Okay, so here we want to draw rectangles that have a perimeter of 20 and an area of 24. Okay, remember area is always square units and, and perimeter is always just plain old units. Okay, so here we go. So let's see if this is perimeter of 20. Okay, so we first want to see is it perimeter 20. So 1 plus 10 plus 1 plus 10. Okay, first of all, 1 plus 10 is 11, plus another 11 for the other side over there. <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't equal 20, it equals 22. So, so we can't build that rectangle. So let's try a 2 by 8, okay? All right, does this give us a perimeter of 20? So 2 plus 8 plus 2 plus 8, yeah, that equals 20 right there, okay? So uh, does it have an area of, uh, of 24? Is 2 times 16 equal to 24? No. I'm sorry, 2 times 8. 2 times 8 equals 16, not 24. So that rectangle doesn't work. Let's try this rectangle. 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4. No, that equals 14, so that's not 20. So we can skip that one right there. How about this one? 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Okay, yeah, that equals 20. Does the area give us 24? 5 times 5? No, that doesn't. How about this one? 4 by 6. You just got to keep trying, you guys. Make a rectangle. 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6. Um, uh, yep, 20. 4 times 6 is 24. So there's our answer right there. So the, the size of the rectangle has a measure of 20 and 24 uh, uh, perimeter of 20 and, and area of 24 square units has to be a 4 units by 6 units right there. Okay, how about this? Uh, draw a rectangle that has a perimeter of 20 units and an area of 25 units. Okay, let's go back, you guys. Let's go back, right? This guy right here. Here, this has perimeter of 20, but the area is 5 times 5, which is 25. And I think that's what it's asking right there. So let's let's go back, you guys. So um, right there, sorry. So, um, so the size of that rectangle that has a perimeter of 20 uh, units and, and uh, oops, I missed that one, 25 square units. So we should say 25 square units because that's what the direction said. It's going to be a 5 by 5. Okay. All right, how about this, you guys? So how, how are the perimeters in examples A and B related? And, and how, are they, uh, um, uh, how are they not related and how are they different? Sorry, this should say different. Whew. Sorry. Let's change that. Different right there. Okay, it's going to say related on the same side right there. That's okay, I can change it right there. So here's a rectangle A. So rectangle A, they asked us to have a perimeter of 20 and an area of 24. So that gave us this rectangle right here. And then uh, the, uh, B said, uh, make sure you had an area at the same perimeter, but the area was 25. So how are these related and how are these different? Let me go change that right here. Different. Sorry. Uh, so. So they're, they're related because they have the same perimeters. See how they have the same perimeters? But the one that's a, a square has the bigger area. This is almost a square, 4 by 6. Those numbers are pretty close right there. So that has a, a pretty big area. But the, oh, you guys, the square is always going to give us, you know, if it has a perimeter of blankety blank, divide it by 4. And that'll be your square, and that'll give us your greatest area right there. So, so their their relationships uh, is that they have the same perimeter, but the bigger this more becomes, the square becomes the greater area. All right, you guys, I hope that uh, lesson makes sense. And and say hi to your awesome teacher for me. Take care.